Hello everyone, and welcome to my multi-part build of the Hypercube Evolution 3D printer. If you haven't already watched the first part, now's a good time to go back and watch it. In this part, we will be assembling and installing the Y-axis into the frame. Since our last video, assembling the frame, I have gone back and made sure the frame is nice and square. I also moved the internal brackets down at the top of the frame and removed the top external brackets ready for the y-axis installation. Later on in this video I will show where I've made these changes. Let's get started. First we will need to install the 20mm M3 screws and brass inserts into the stepper motor mounts. In my case these holes for the brass inserts were a little bit too big. To remedy this, I'm going to place a dab of super glue in the hole before installing the insert. These screws help retain the smooth rod in the frame. Then we use the same length screws for the rod restraints in the idler mounts. This needs to be done before installing the idler pulleys as the screw head is not accessible once installed. Now we can fit the 3D printed parts to the rods, making sure to put the LM10UU bearings for the x-axis on the rods beforehand. It's important to make sure that you don't over tighten the screw and that the idler pulleys can spin freely. Before installing the Y axis into the frame, you can see here where I've removed the external right angle bracket and shifted the internal bracket. I have moved the external brackets to the inner corners of the frame to help keep it square. Okay, let's get this in. Finally, we can fit the stepper motors into the brackets. Noting that the shorter 6mm M3 screw goes into the recessed hole underneath the rod to allow for larger Y-axis travel. The remaining two accessible holes on each mount use the 8mm M3 screws. Now we can place the drive gears onto the stepper motors. Note that on one side we place the gear in this orientation and on the other side we place the gear in this orientation to make up the two drive belts of the Core XY system. For the moment we will not do these up too tight as we will need to be able to adjust this later on. Now we have completed the Y axis assembly and installation into the frame. 
In the next build part, we'll be assembling and installing the X axis into the frame. Please be sure to like, subscribe and hit that bell to be notified when the next part of this build is available. If you have any thoughts or comments on this video, please make sure you leave a comment in the comment sections below, as I want to make sure my videos help empower you to build and make anything.